Today on the Maryland Tennis Show, are you battling with your teen over hemlines? We help one family come to a ceasefire. Plus, Gwyneth Paltrow says she can't judge a cheater. We dish on the latest hot button headlines. Now, here she is, Marilyn Dennis. Okay, hi. Oh, I can see you. How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. Hi, hi, hi. Good to see you. How's everybody? Good? Good. Hi. Hi, hi. I didn't go over here yesterday. How are you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for coming today. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you. Good to see you. That's what I said at the radio station this morning. Why do I do this TV show? Because I get a standing ovation. <laughs> Don't ever stop doing that. Uh, we're kicking off the show with our hot button headlines chat today. That's what we're calling it today. In fact, every Tuesday and Thursday, we're going to be sitting down with the following people. Our Hillary Doyle and special guests to talk about the latest headlines and that are making waves and pushing buttons. Please welcome Hillary Doyle. Degrassi, Melinda Shagar, and Ulysses slash Mom, Kathy Buckworth. Come on. Hey. How are you? Nice, nice to, to see you again. Yes. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Nice, nice, nice to see you. Hi, Helen. How are you? How are you? So we're just doing something a little different and see how you guys feel about it. And here we go. And I did a little bit of research this morning. I'll kick this off by saying that uh, 2011 UK survey says the number one reason why couples divorce is they fall out of love. Okay? Mm -hmm. For the first time, affairs didn't land the top spot. Hillary, what do you think about that? I'm disappointed, Marilyn. <laughs> I'm disappointed because I feel like Facebook has ruined secrecy. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I, I, extramarital affairs have become, I guess, the domain of the professionals, like spies. Yeah. Right. You know, I don't know that this is about more people coming to terms with the fact that they've just fallen out of love and they're willing to talk about right. it. I think right. it's just that more people are frightened of having affairs. But... You know, you wait long enough to get married, and I assume you mature and uh, and can talk about things when the fire is gone. Well, you know what they say: multitasking constantly sometimes that the health of the relationship suffer. I was gonna yeah. say, I've, got, I've got four kids, so yeah. I think I'm surprised the number one reason isn't like arguing over changing diapers or picking out lice. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. speaking personally, but I, yeah, falling out of love when you're doing regular stuff. I think a lot of it comes down to it's all the take out the garbage and they do all that. Right. You know, right. it's hard to maintain sometimes that romantic relationship yeah. and the, the business yeah, of being the, the business, business of, being of being married. Are you married? Kids. I'm 19, so, you know, okay. I've got a couple more years. <laughs> I just thought I'd ask. Just but I, mean, I, always, I always pictured, like, the fairy tale wedding and then, yeah. you know, the happily ever after. I mean, and then hearing these stats, I'm like, damn. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what's going on. But then, in this day and age, people are just getting lazy, and then I just think that they don't want to work for their marriages. They just think, you know, it's getting tough, and then... They find someone else, and it seems good, and then, but you know, marriage is supposed to be forever, you know? Oh, I'm clearly the young one. I love you so much. I really do. I really do. You have to sit down and talk. I was going to say, wait until, yeah, exactly. We'll talk after your green room after. You know, the other thing, too, is they said in this article, too, and correct me if I'm wrong, that some people, you know, like in Hollywood or whatever, they suffer a couple of mishaps of infidelity. But that doesn't seem to really end the marriage anymore, as we have noticed, right? And then some people are saying, well, you know, it's not always about just the affair. It's that they are falling out of love. Case in point, mentioned a couple of weeks ago, Mark Anthony and Jennifer Lopez. Right. He said, you know, there wasn't really anything except it just kind of happened. See, they had kids. <laughs> I'm not blaming the kids. Yeah. <laughs> That's really interesting because I feel like I look at my friends. So I'm in my right. 30s, and and a lot of my friends have been dating the same partners now for like 10 years. Mm -hmm. So God knows by the time they actually take the plunge, they're really ready to do it. And I think, um, you know, this is. How old is, are you? How old are you right now? I'm. Th I'm Oh my gosh, I'm 34. I that just was the toughest 34. question she's going to be asked all day. How old people stop asking after a. I think after I you turn 30, people yeah. stop yeah. asking. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think marriage. We we've sort of forgotten to redefine the the state or the union right. of marriage. Right. And and so in lieu of having some kind of alternative, I think people are trying to find an alternative within. 
their partnership. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, you hear about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith and whether they yeah. do or do not have an open marriage. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, obviously something is working for them. Yeah, that's and, right. And maybe we just need to be a bit more open-minded. That's right. Uh, they said, uh, with, 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 the survey doesn't explain is that if falling out of love is number one, the number one reason why so many divorces happen, uh, they said, you know, it's because people are, you know, multitasking everything. They're also saying that when the marriage ends, it's usually September and January. Watch yes, out. I've heard that January, the first week in January is the number one week for people to file for divorce because they say, well, let's get through the holidays. It's a family time. It's whatever. And right. it's like, it's the New Year, baby. Okay. I'm out of here. And somebody said to me once so. they didn't want to, they didn't want to face uh, Valentine's Day with that person again. Uh. <laughs> so they get it done. Oh. They get the job done. Well, think about it. You know, have you been on a Valentine's Day going, this is so week, over. Six-week period, you, right? The Between way you <laughs> cut that steak is really irritating. Hey, right? don't underestimate how annoying food chewing can be in your heart. <laughs> okay, Number so having reason. said all of that, okay, uh, we talked to now, we were talking about uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Right. Who says what? Oh, you know what? The woman just should not open her mouth. She's very beautiful. I'm sure that she's a very oh, smart woman. Yeah. She just doesn't sound smart when she talks. Um, she says, she's come out, it's breaking news, that um, life is complicated and long, and she says, I know people that I respect and admire and look up to who have had extramarital affairs. Right. And then she goes on, I think, at one point to say, oh yeah, no, here it is is my favorite quote. Um, it's like we're flawed. We're human beings and sometimes you make choices that other people are going to judge. That's right. deep. Eh? So, yes. I mean, <laughs> this says a couple of things to me. One, Gwyneth Paltrow has definitely been married for eight years at this point. <laughs> okay? She's leaving her options open and she would make a terrible philosopher. Um, but I, I, you know... I, we, you know, we love Hillary because we thought, there, let's get somebody who's not opinionated. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us what you really think. Let's hire her. Anyway, keep going. Well, I love it. No, I, I love it. I think Gwyneth Paltrow is, is you know, I obviously never met the woman. She seems delightful, right. very lovely, but she lost me a little bit in a conversation with the newspaper a couple of years ago when she was talking about a movie and she said, you know what, I'm so tired of talking about this movie, I'd rather discuss um, the critical issue of genetically modified fruit. Now, <laughs> this is probably a, I, I, you know, I understand. Yeah, be careful, some... I really want her on the show sometime. Yes, <laughs> The upside to her, she's beautiful and we love her and we love Chris Martin. He's going to be here very soon with Coldplay. Oh, that's wow. very exciting. In the vicinity. I don't know if I'm going to get him on the show or not. You have to answer this one, okay? Some British schools are banning skirts. They're tired of fighting with the students over those short skirts. Girls have been rolling their school uniform skirts for ages, everybody. Mm -hmm. Have they not? Mm -hmm. uh, did yes. you? Yeah. I did. I did. <laughs> uh, and so they're, they're looking at teens pushing the boundaries of their fashion choices. See, what's happening, is, what's happening is that this school in the UK is saying, you know what, we don't want you wearing skirts anymore, we want you wearing trousers. Right. So what's the answer to that, Melinda? I mean, I've never had school uniforms in real life, but I had them on Degrassi, and I know even though it was a show, I would even hike them up a bit. Like, just a little bit, but I think the whole thing is they're ugly. Like, that's what it comes down to. Everyone has their own fashion choice, and I know that's what they want is, you know, equality. Yeah. With, but making the girls and boys wear the same thing is also not cool. I mean, that's the original point of them was to have... I mean, originally in schools, you had to walk in different doors, the girl door and the boy door. So now I just think if they really want to settle that issue, put little, make them skorts, like put shorts underneath, <laughs> and then you can't roll them up past a certain point because who wants yeah. to see the shorts? Yeah, that's, that's right. That's the solution. You know, we had in the 70s, uh, we had scooter skirts. Because we were, do you hear me? You know that. <laughs> and they were like shorts with a little panel that looked like a skirt. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But you could still roll them up. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so then they're saying, let's, let's put everybody in pants, right? And the thing is, yeah, but where are the pants going to land? You know, right above exactly. the you-know-what-see? Yeah. So that's all that stuff. Okay. I think, and that, I think that's true. I, I, exactly what Melinda said is that, you know, it's not necessarily what you're wearing. It's the attitude that's right. behind it, right. right? So you want it. You're going to do that with almost anything that you right. wear. You're going to see that. I went to a, a school where I had to wear a uniform uh, for the duration of high school. And actually, when I was in grade 13, which no longer exists, but uh, we were told that finally we could wear pants. So I feel like it was couched in such a way that we thought it was this awesome new option and everybody wore pants. I mean, we made our uniforms look so terrible mm -hmm. that clearly this was the the reason that the pants were introduced, but it was just couched as feminism. Right, so. right. <laughs>
Well, you know, it's always an argument, that's for sure. Thanks to all my guests today. Thanks for Thanks. coming in because we are going to continue talking about fashion, teen fashion, and when mothers and daughters struggle. Did that ever happen to you? I mean, what to always. Wear? Always. <laughs> always. Always. Teenagers, teenagers, teenagers right? Absolutely. Hillary still struggling? You know what? What a great Okay, thanks for my guests. We have to take a break. We got a great show for you. Stay with us. Thank you. Coming up, relationship therapist Ashley Howe has got expert advice on how you can police your teen's wardrobe without sacrificing their personal style. And later in the show, award-winning baker Allison Bobbitt shows us how to make festive fall apple crisp and spicy apple cupcakes. The Marilyn Dennis Show is brought to you by Sears. Find us online at sears.ca.